you see miss that's because this reading vlog is about to be messy that's just how i feel <laughs> Welcome and welcome back to my YouTube channel, Shigas. My name is Nomza Moshangase and this is my YouTube channel where I speak about all things books, DIY and lifestyle. If that is your kind of jam, please do hit that subscribe button, hit the little bell to get notified every single time your home girl post a video. I am feeling more like myself. I haven't felt more like myself in a very long time, okay? You know, when you feel like yourself, you do things that, you know, just accelerate that feeling. That's just take it there today as you can tell by the title of this video i will be doing a romance reading vlog to tell you that i am excited would be an understatement this is going to be a fun vlog okay um, first book that we do have is seven days in june by tia williams i know about this book is about it's a second chance romance which for some reason <laughs> your homegirl seems to like these days i'm not a big fan of like second chance romance because for me once shame on you for me twice <laughs> it is a second chance a romance between these two writers i know that there's a lot of trauma that goes on in this book so there are trigger warnings single mom an old boyfriend if i'm not mistaken i love it i feel like i'm gonna be reading about my life <laughs> but i am looking forward to this book second book we need a drum roll for this one <laughs> honey and spice by bolu babalola I don't know if you can't tell by the smile on my face i don't know what else can tell you i am ready to devour to get in there and be within the honey and the spice <laughs> that did not just happen this one shout out to jonathan ball publishers for actually sending me this book it's like they knew i want to listen to you made a full of death with your beauty on audio by um Akweke amezi i will be listening it on script so i'm just gonna have my lunch right now and i will be starting with seven days in june let's go <laughs> Something about the way that you talk to me Even when you're not around I feel you, boy I feel you, boy Take with your love and your energy Perhaps it was the way that you smile I see you, boy Oh, I need you, boy Cause I've been waiting my whole life To find someone like you so far so good it's reading very nicely kind of funny i get the feeling that it's gonna be a slow burn i feel like ava is kind of messy which is gonna be interesting to see because it's either it's gonna be good messy or bad messy i'll talk to you guys later ooh, 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 ooh.
They're so dysfunctional, but I love them. I love them so much. Shane and Eva had a relationship back when they were in high school in grade 12. And then Shane did something. He left, I think. And then they went on their separate ways and they haven't seen each other for 15 years. They both became actually famous writers, but they were kind of writing about each other. These idiots were writing about each other. There's a lot of trauma that they have. I love their interaction, guys, and I literally get giddy every single time they interact with each other. And it's witty and it's hot and you can feel the tension. No, actually, yeah, no, these two. It's like two bulls being in one crawl. It's just, I love it. I'm going to read now. I'm going to make myself some popcorn and I'm going to read. You know, Eva was walking in the restaurant and then Shane said, I took a moment to drink her in. He was not just looking at her he drank her in mesmerized by her and eva said something you know, every single time i used to think about shane i didn't see his face it was a feeling that i got and i was like guys i want that for me it's dysfunctional but i want what they have i feel like um they need therapy i'm really interested to see what shane did what really happened for them to not speak for 15 years and I'm really interested to see the seven days in June. So yeah, I'll talk to you guys later. in iced coffee on a humid day a black love story a black love story i am enjoying and eating this up wow it is so beautiful guys it is so beautiful it's traumatic guys because i'm not going to romanticize the things that they went through shane and um eva when they were kids i i want to say no kids should be experiencing that but at the back of my head i know that the reality of things like the world that we actually live in is not set up that way like i know that there are kids who have faced the things that they went through as kids and it's heartbreaking it's, they're so young for the things that they were experiencing look i absolutely love it so much tia williams is definitely going to be one of my new favorite authors for this year she there's so many beautiful sentences here so many words so many things explained in such a beautiful way i feel like you know whenever shane and eva explain each other to us i'm like guys will i ever will i ever reach the point of being in love with someone that your guys the way shane is so in love with this girl he slays dragons for this girl i don't know i don't know there's just something about his cockiness and his arrogance that i'm in love with other men could never i said this on my instagram i was like i'm in love with only shane's cockiness and arrogance other men could never i don't know what it is there's just something about him this book is actually told in third person really i get put off you know when other characters are introduced and we are uh, getting to see their story like i don't really care about their story show me our main characters but yeah i love that it's told in third person because i get to see the best of both worlds at the same time like seeing things from audrey who is eva's daughter at first i got to see eva as just she's like i'm so broken i'm so like i'm going through a lot everything is utter shit her daughter is like my mom is the best mom in the entire world she is my best friend she is perfect i'm like girl do you know because we think that we are shirts and everything like that but other people look at us differently even with ava and shane they think oh my gosh i'm such a fuck up i don't deserve this person at the same time you know they don't know that the other person is just head over heels years don't mean anything you know when it comes to like friendships or relationships like you can meet someone and then three months down the line you guys can get married and have this huge beautiful life but them, it just affirms that i don't know man i just love that they went through a lot during the seven days that they were with each other like they went through a lot page 168 wow that was hot it was short but that was hot 
guys how tia williams explains sex scenes i show I, are there awards for those kind of things when they first touched they saw each other they hadn't touched it in a very long time when they first touched i was electrified i was not even there <laughs> guys it's making me believe in love again you you would think that their love would be toxic but i feel like their love is very pure because it's so honest they very honest with each other it was no like you didn't i didn't feel the distance it's like when they saw each other it's like time hadn't passed it's just like to me this just <sighs> it's beautiful yeah i'm enjoying this book i need to edit and i'm gonna go out today but when i come back and read i will definitely keep you guys updated and yeah i shall talk to you guys later <laughs>
he hasn't said anything to her and i'm already like smiling there is just something about a man that is confident i don't know man there is just something like crap mind your business <laughs> i come with a reading update of honey and spice the way that i'm reading this book i thought i was gonna inhale this book you know type of like one sitting read all through the night type of but i'm so disappointed like i'm not loving it but i'm also not hating it um, i'm not sure if i said it to you guys but we follow kiki and malika basically fake dating in order to help each other with their school project and we just got into that guys and i'm page i'm on page 206 we just got to that why did it take us so long it's bothering me and my homegirls because there was no need for this book to be this long personally that's just how i feel kiki's internal monologues that girl can think the reason that i'm staying for this book is because of malikai such a ooh, beautiful black man okay and i love him <laughs> fake dating has such a fine line because you don't know whether the person is meaning it or if they still acting that just builds up more tension really enjoying that to see because malikai says things and does things and i'm like wait a minute are you acting or <laughs> Are you acting or are you like for real for real? We shall see how it goes and I will talk to you guys later when I do have an update and yeah. <laughs> just did something that's probably the most sexiest thing you can do to a person who loves a certain book i want this man i want Malachi. i want him I want him for me not for kiki i want him for me sir <laughs> ah. Batla. i am looking for you yeah that's all i'm sorry i'm sorry I'm sorry, they are talking. Anyways, just to know that that quote just made me understand why this book is called Tanya and Spice. And I'm geeking over it. I'm buzzing, bro. I'm buzzing. Every
made a home in me. Now I want those hats. I'm not really feeling this wig today. I'm not feeling this Judy today. I am on page 344 and I feel like I've complained enough about the things that I don't like about this but it's just that there's over explanation of things and we are in too much in Kiki's head now I just want to rant about things that I love about this book the way Bolu Babalola is explaining the love story and how they feel about each other and when Malachi vocalizes how he feels about her oh no my standards just keep just keep and i'm even seeing it with kofi who is like a background character is friends with malachi how um amina was explaining coffee i was like hey girl amina was explaining how coffee makes her feel bro just the way love is explained here and how it's expressed and how it's portrayed malika is such a perfect man like i want him so much i want to hug him i want him for myself i don't know what you hoes been saying but malika is mine Okay, you need to give it up. Had a but enough. It's about to see the is mine. Ah, I'm enjoying it. I'm loving it so much. I'm Malikai and Kiki forever. <laughs> yeah, even Coffee and Amina forever. Yes, give it to me. I did a TikTok and Bolu Babalola commented. So basically, me and Bolu Babalola are friends now. That's what's up. Follow me on TikTok too if you want to comment there and we can be besties. Okay, period. Yeah. I'm gonna go now and yeah. <laughs> I really do not like niggas like Zach, guys. I don't like them. They are oh my god. Guys, anyway, will this ever end? Will this ever end? As soon as I read that post. I saw red. Like, I just really wanted to say Zach was really corny and cheesy in the beginning, and I found him to be really funny. And I rolled my eyes because I was like, bored, you know? But now I'm like really, really irritated. Like, I need someone to kick his ass. Just came here to tell you guys that I am reading You Made a Full of Death with Your Beauty. I'll talk to you guys when I do have like a reading update because I'm listening to it on my phone. I don't want to do the whole admin of the camera and doing a tap lapse. I just want to read so i'm just going to be doing that and then i will come back when i do have a reading update y'all yeah. i'm here to give you guys a little bit of a wrap up of honey and spice by bolu babalula i definitely enjoyed this book the good outweighs the bad overall this book really redeemed itself okay the chemistry between kiki and malachi perfection they are banter <laughs> guys this book is so funny i absolutely love the friendship and just also seeing how you can have friends that are so different from you brought comfort to me and i really absolutely love that also the background characters here guys i was also rooting for them like i absolutely loved amina Mwah. love her her and coffee love them love them i hope i hope the sequel we are going to be seeing things from amina's point of view absolutely loved it i can talk about this book the days because there are definitely a lot of things that Bolu Babalola touched on without making it like a the main story, like the main focal point or the main struggle that our main characters go through. Absolutely loved it. Absolutely loved it. After finishing that book, I also started You Made a Fool of Death with Your Beauty by Aguike Amesi by Audiobook. And uh... guys, listen, we already know that Aguike Amesi, they write beautifully, okay? Their writing is beautiful. It's phenomenal. We love it. It flows. It just, people were like, this book is so messy. And I was not prepared for this kind of mess, okay? We follow Faye. She is a widow. Um, she used to live in London and now she's living in New York. And I I think this is going to be like her grieving story kind of like getting back into the dating scene type of story so far it's it's so thought-provoking for me for a second i thought my homegirl is gonna move mad i'm really enjoying it i feel like nasia is good on paper 
but I don't, I'm not trusted. Just sidetrack a little bit. I'm enjoying these books that I've read. I think it's really important to read these books for us as black people, see black people in such a light that is so beautiful and so carefree, like unhinged and unbothered and just being human without having to go through certain struggles being bra like a group of friends being in university being a clique and having fun and doing the things that they love and not things that they are supposed to do because their parents think that they should do them went on a rant there for a second i think but i'm just excited and i'm loving all the books that i've been reading i'll talk to you guys when i do have a reading update Guys, so much has happened and we haven't even reached 100 pages. <laughs> Faye? Faye is stressing me. I'm gonna try to reach at least 150. Yeah. I'll talk to you guys later. When I said that I knew that this reading vlog was going to be messy, I didn't know how messy it was going to be. Faye! Faye! Ma'am. Guys? I'm just, <laughs> I'm just a ball of confusion and stress because Faye is stressing me in such a way that I'm also conflicted myself. Like, okay, I'm trying to put myself in her shoes. I'm like, okay, if I was in her situation, this man made a three course meal dedicated to her work. And he said such a small speech that was perhaps the most beautiful declaration of thanks I've ever read. Wow, the pressure is getting worse. That video of Emma and Jack Harlow at the Mad Gala's. <laughs> I'm having that reaction. <laughs> I'm having that reaction because that did not just happen. That did not just happen. Guys, when I said the pressure is getting worse, I didn't. These are about to be the longest three weeks in Faye's life. Okay, everything is fine. Maybe not, <laughs> but... <laughs> this man! This man. Ah. Uh, ha! Elam. Uh, <laughs> I just crumbled into nothingness. I'm having a lot of feelings right now. I have never been so stressed and confused in my life. I am Selena Johnson. Baby, I'm so confused. I don't know what to do. Something, someone is going to get hurt either way. Alam! <sighs> he said, I ask of you one thing to tell me the truth and know that I will hold it with care. And that's as reassuring as it can get. Safest place you can create for anyone to just open up to you. He said, many people have come into this mountain. Many people have come up into this mountain. Okay. You are the only one that I never want to let back down. <laughs> Things are not going to be cute. I'm just nervous. I'm just a ball of nerves. I think you know the buildup of the like the anticipation of everything. Oh my god. Just to know that wherever I am, I'm losing my mind and my shit. Guys, Lorraine did not just fix her mouth to speak to her father like that. We deserve love as humans in general. What you're not going to do as my children, who I have given you my life, is that you're going to fix your mouth to tell me that my loneliness has made me blind. Yo! <sighs> She's not my child. She's not my child, but oh my God. Oh, Lorraine, Lorraine has pissed me off. I'm sorry, Lorraine has pissed me off. Also, you don't get to pick and choose how someone's reaction to the way that you've hurt them 
should be like my thing is and i'm not even gonna lie Faye definitely led him on because Faye was like oh we're just friends even though she knew at the back of her head that she was not gonna do anything with this boy um Faye and that other me they stress me but i'm in love with them guys <laughs> definitely gonna finish this book today this book has rearranged me and forced me to think that's amazing bro this is such a good ah oh, such a great book black opulence like just beautiful love it guys absolutely love it a wrap up i finished a metaphor of death with your beauty last night and i absolutely enjoyed this book it brought every single emotion out of me i definitely had a, a glass of wine after finishing this book because it was absolutely needed i was team Faye throughout i was the because i was just like as long as baby girl is happy the story could have gone in so many different directions I'm happy with how it, it ended because I knew that Faye was happy. The story we follow Faye, a widow trying to get back into living again in after losing her husband. I enjoyed how Emezi told the story of grief. When you're surrounded by grief, so many things you felt like there's no room for. You don't feel like there's room for happiness. You don't feel like there's room for love because how dare you basically have all, the, all these rooms for all these things when death and grief is, you know, it surrounds you so much, the guilt that Faye felt was so valid because in, in as much as the story is so messy and complex, I'm not too mad at Faye because she was aware of things. She was, she was aware of the things and she took steps. She took accountability when needed to be. I felt the guilt that she felt because she felt like she had no rights of being here, of being alive and being happy whilst the love of her life died how Faye moved in certain situations it was so un unapologetic and selfish that being portrayed made me feel okay with how i move in my life people around you look at you sideways and judge you whilst not knowing what you have been through to get there i love this book so much one thing i have learned in this life and also with this book is that there is no linear way of choosing to pick yourself up after something traumatic happens to you, anything bad happens to you. Sometimes when you choose to be that selfish, people will get hurt. Like you're not in this world to live up for other people. Hey, it brought comfort. This book brought so much comfort to me. And I know a lot of people are like, oh, shoot, you support my nails. And you know what? Yes, I do. MSC, I wish please give us Joy's book. I need Joy to have a book. And down below if you read it, let me know what you think. Let me know what you think about Alan. Love him so much. Clearly, I'm tired, guys, and because I have felt everything. I have fallen in love and been heartbroken so many times <laughs> in the weeks that I was reading this books. If you did like this video, please don't forget to give me a big thumbs up. Comment down below if you have read any of these books or if you are planning on reading these books. If you haven't already, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Hit the little bell to get notified every single time you're home, girl post a video until next time sugars thank you so much for watching bye